few months ago, a friend sent me a video about a mini smoke machine that you can put onto the end of an airsoft gun. Like you might be thinking now, I went, wow, that's sick, I gotta get one of those. Unfortunately, when I actually tried to find one for sale, I was met with this warning on all the sites that had them listed. Eventually, I found one that I was able to purchase through PayPal, which was listed on Silo's website. Although it did arrive a month and a half late, soaking wet with smoke juice because the cap leaked during transit, the tracer worked great. It flashes, it smokes, it traces. The problems only began to arise once I wanted it to stop doing that. See, mine has a unique issue. It's haunted. It'll just turn itself back on whenever it wants. But no worries, it has a one year warranty, and those typically cover spectral possessions. So I reached out to their customer service team with a few videos of what was going on and they quickly responded asking for my order number. But once I provided it to them, I never heard anything back. Feeling dejected, I decided to coexist with my new ghastly companion, and I set him up with a nice mechanical timer that would automatically charge the tracer for 30 minutes a day to prevent the battery from destroying itself. I'm not sure I could recommend this product. Even though it does look sick as hell, it arrived faulty, and luckily mine was still functional, but if yours showed up bricked, I'm really not sure you could get it fixed or replaced. I apologize for the lengthy intro, but I didn't want anyone to walk away from this video with the idea that I endorsed this product. Yeah, I'm right here.
jets. So is it the, uh, the HPA that's causing it to go smoke or is there no, like something? it's a little smoke machine. Oh, that's pretty cool though. 